Hi Booktube, it's Andrea here and today I've got a magical book haul for you. This is part one of what is going to be a three part book haul I believe. Um, so I've just got so many books this month. I am going to do this one first, this is a complete set of books I'm going to talk about. Um, being one of the older booktubers I never and I still haven't read all the Harry Potters at all. When they came out I was only really reading Terry Pratchett and biographies of film stars like Marilyn Monroe, plays and scripts because I just not long finished college and so on. However that doesn't mean to say I haven't read any of them because I have read a few of them and I have seen some of the movies. I decided a few months ago that I wanted to buy all the Harry Potters in hardback. Um, I had some money left over from my holiday and some vouchers from work, some book to tokens from work. So I went and I bought all the hardback Harry Potters I could get. Well, obviously there's seven. Um, so the only reason I could afford them, I had £90 and it came to a total of 86 something, was because in Waterstones they had money off them. So I bought them from Waterstones and it was £3 off of anyone that was £12.99 and £5 off of the ones that were £7.99. So I bought these editions because I think they're gorgeous and I've got to be honest, I prefer these to the original covers. So we've got this beautiful gold foiling with the stars on it as well with stars. And if you open it up, the end papers also have stars. And inside, if you take the slip off, you've got stars on the front of the book as well. Can you see them? And of course, Harry Potter in gold on the side. But it doesn't stop there with the stars. These books are just covered in stars. If you look at each chapter, there's chapter two. They have stars above the chapter headings as well, which I really love. They feel really nice. So, so that one is obviously and the Philosopher's Stone. It's a gorgeous cover. Um, obviously, I bought, well, I bought them all. So I'm just going to show you each of the covers. So the Chamber of Secrets looks like that. And again, it's got the stars on it and the coloured end papers with stars. And again, yeah, the stars. I love them. And then, of course, we've got the Prisoner of Azkaban. I just love the artwork on these. I really do prefer this to the original Harry Potter artworks. I, I'm sorry, I just do. And that's obviously at the Goblet of Fire. These ones I haven't read. I have read Philosophers for Stone. I can't even say it this morning, this afternoon. And um, The Order of the Phoenix. And I think Chamber of Secrets as well. So I just love the, the artwork on them. Stunning. So it's actually the bigger one, the order, the biggest one, the Order of the Phoenix in a set. So Order of the Phoenix. I just love the way these are, and they're all numbered at the top on the on the spine as well. So it says number five there. And then we've got and the Half Blood Prince. So the cover's getting really dark now, which I think is great. And of course, and the Deathly Hallows, another purple cover. I love this colour purple. Absolutely gorgeous. Give me Harry Potter. So you can imagine what it was like in Waterstones when I went in and bought them all in one go. Oh yes, I was like, they're all mine, I'm having them all, I was a bit mad. But of course Harry Potter doesn't end there and as we all know, the script for The Cursed Child was released at the end of last month. So I did pick, there goes the Philosopher's, Philosopher's Stone, I'll pick that in a minute. So I did buy a copy of the script for The Cursed Child, I haven't read it yet because I intend to read all of those first and then read this one. Now I know this has got mixed reviews but as, as it says on it, it's a rehearsal edition script. This was released before the play actually went, came out of preview um, and so there probably has been and will have been amendments to the final script so I'm sure we're going to get another publication at some point of the complete script as it is now. Now Reading a script is different to reading a novel. It is very different. And unless you've done a lot of theatre work, it's going to be very difficult to, to read. It is. It's just not easy. So what advice can I give you on reading Cursed Child? The best way to do this, and I think the most fun way to do this, would be get a group of your friends together, because I'm sure they've all got it, assign parts, Somebody can be Harry, somebody can be Hermione, somebody can be Ron, and so on. Assign parts, 
and act it out. That's how it's intended to be done. So why don't you just get in your living room, each get a copy of the script, pull, pull parts out of the hat if you can't decide who's going to be who, and act it out. It'll be so much more fun. You will enjoy it so much more because reading a script cold, which is what you're doing when you're just reading it, is very, very difficult. Even, you know, for trained actors, it's very, very difficult to get the nuances of what the playwright intends. So yeah, my advice would be get a group of your friends, pull parts out of the hat, act it out in your living room. You would have so much fun. I might be a bit old to do that, but I'm still thinking about getting some of my friends together just to do it for the laugh. So that is my very magical Harry Potter book haul. Like I said, I've got another two book hauls to do. Um, I'll be doing the next one fairly shortly. I'm also gonna be doing my August part one wrap up because again, I've read so many books that's gonna have to be in two sections. So that's all for now, but I will be back very shortly with part one of my autumn wrap up, uh, my August wrap up, not autumn, <laughs> what's wrong with me? And um, I will see you soon. So happy reading, bye.